Martin. Listen, folks, if you're still with us, um, got some positive reports coming out of Europe. New drug. Um, they're doing trials. Uh, it's a combination of Truvada and Sestiva. Um, I'm uh, feeling encouraged. Hopefully we you're, can... You're feeling encouraged. Those two um, antiviral drugs are used to, you know, sort of suppress HIV. Are, well, you, are you suggesting that this is HIV? Well, I'm no scientist either, but... I mean, if there's something that can help our immune system kind of beat the, the most deadly virus in the history of man, I'm, I'm with that. I'm with that. Folks, I'm going mean, to let you in on a little secret here that my colleague isn't sharing with you. Those reports that, that he read off, um, they were from a week and a half ago. I'm going to tell you what we've been doing for the past couple of days. We've been rationing our reports so that we can give you false hope. Did you just say that on air? I, I, I believe I just did. You know what? Our, oh, our producers aren't around anymore. Bullshit. No we're one's not, around. You're, we're not being regulated. So it's it's fine to just come out and, and, with the truth. You know what? I, yeah. Yeah. That's the truth. That's the truth. And the fact is, there's no cure. There's no signs of a cure, really. I think they just fed us those reports just to give us false hope. We're all going to die. It's been two months. Two months. Two months. Look, look, my colleague is losing it a little bit. We're all losing it a little bit. Okay, your family could be dead, my family could be dead. It's not much, but I think if we ration the rest of our food, we can make it till the supply trucks come. Martin. Can you say grace? Lord, bless these gifts that we're about to receive. I, I can't do this, Anne. I can't keep believing in him and I, I don't think you should either. Why? Why? Look around you, Anne. Do you, do you really think he's going to come down here and save us? Do you really think that kneeling beside our fucking bed every night, praying to some invisible man while, while the world tears itself apart, is really going to save us? I need something to look forward to. I'm here. I have something to look forward to. You're not going to find anything out there better for you. What happened to you? Why is it so hard for you to accept the fact that I have something to believe in? Fear. Do you want to know what I did the first week the virus hit? When you went out to get food, I, I went to a church and I prayed. I actually prayed. I prayed for as long as I could. And then somebody touched my shoulder. And it, it was a priest. He looks back at me like I, like I was ignorant. And he, and he smiled. And he said three words. It's too late. What did you do? He shot himself before I could say anything. 
He was scared. He was weak. But we're not. So if we're going to survive, I, I, I need you to understand that we need to throw away all these little games and, th and these beliefs. Because in the end, they're not, they're not going to get us anywhere. It's not that easy for me to give up on everything I've grown up on. No. No, you look me right in the eye and tell me honestly that you think God is going to come down here and save you. Convince me. Because right now, we are on our own. We are on our own. And if you want me to protect you, I need you to understand that. Why did you do it then? Why did you propose to me last week when you knew we wouldn't be able to get married? Was it just to make me feel better?